What do we have here? Let's open this up. This is cash card. Uh oh, a cash card. What could a cash card be? Could this be a cash card? Could this be a cash card? Had to make sure I scratch out my address here. Here we go. Voila, this is a cash card. Now, how do we activate this card? You go to the cash app, you scan this barcode on the cash app, and that lets the cash app know that you have received the cash card. This is really cool, really cool card. Well, let's talk about this card. Let's activate this card. We're gonna go over to the cash app here. Cash app. And this is the cash app card. Now, when you first go to the cash app, it may not look like this. It may look something like this, or it may look like that, or it may look like this, or it may look like that. But to get to the cash app card, you wanna hit this metal button. And once you get to um, the cash card, there's an option to activate cash card. We're gonna push activate cash card. And we'll take the phone and we um, just scan the RV code to get your cash card activated. Look how simple that was. Okay. Your card is now ready to be used. Use your cash pin when X for your pin. So I guess my cash pin is the, the pin that I set up for the app, like to, to open the app, which is pretty cool. Now let's talk about something um, that, that, that I really wanna talk about here, the boost here. Cause it's one of the, the features of this card, save with boost, tap to pay, direct deposit, access ATMs, pause with a touch. I don't know about pause with a touch, but anyway, let's explore some of the boosts because you can actually save decent money on a lot of things that maybe you already do or maybe you want to do in the future. So 10% off DoorDash. So if you order food on DoorDash and you use this card, you get 10% off. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, any coffee shop, $1 off each visit. I don't know exactly what that means. Does that include Starbucks? Does that include, I don't know what that includes, but I'll have to figure that, this, this out. Um, caviar, you get 10% off um, each caviar order. So that's pretty nice. And you guys know caviar and DoorDash are, you know, one company, DoorDash bought caviar. So I guess they're teaming up. Oh, this is one I like, 5% off each visit at Whole Foods. I go to Whole Foods a lot. I, I love Whole Foods. Whole Foods is my homie, yo. And I will be using this. 10% off visits at Chick-fil-A. Now, um, now, another thing I want to point out too with this card, you can easily set this up on Apple Pay. So, you know, when you go to like Whole Foods, you go to Chick-fil-A, you can like, you know, touch Apple Pay and then pick through your different cards, the one that has the best rewards. So that's usually what I do. But what guys, this place is very popular. They make, um, what do you call them? Those bubble tea drinks. They're very, very popular in the city. I guess they're popular outside of the city. 10% off each visit at Wendy's. I can't remember where there is a Wendy's in San Francisco. Like, do we even have a Wendy's in San Francisco? 5% off of uh, each purchase with Ticketmaster. That's not bad. Dairy Queen, $1 off each visit. Not bad. So I guess if you buy something for $4, you can get it for $3. And if you buy something for 20 you can get it for 19 GameStop, 10% off each purchase. That's if you use this card. These are some good offers. And then once again, we're back to DoorDash. So I think we're repeating ourselves again. So this is pretty cool. So I guess I'm going to link this up with my Apple Pay right now. And that's, that's, that's what I got going on. I don't know how I'm going to link this up with Apple Pay because I think you need numbers to link up with Apple Pay. Maybe the numbers are on the back of the card and I don't want to flip it over and show you guys my numbers because y'all going to be charging me up and, you know, I can't be doing that. But anyway, just thought I would make a video showing you guys about the Cash App card. This card is pretty cool. I can use this card and it'll come directly out of my cash app balance. And I don't have to transfer. Now there is an option to transfer for cash to your bank account. You would just go to like cash app here, cash out, and you could do an amount that you would want to cash out to a bank. Well, let's say, let's just say a hundred bucks, right? So if I want to cash out a hundred bucks, it would charge me $1 and 50 cents, which is not a lot of money. And then I get the money instantly. But if I wait till Friday, if I wait two days, I get it for free. But with the cash card, I can go to ATM, withdraw for free. 
and um, I can also go to like Whole Foods and use the, the cash app, not cash app, but use the debit and then get cash back. So there's another way I can get cash with this card without paying any fees. Or if I really want to send the money to another bank account, I can just, you know, do the standard on Friday. Now, I don't think I'm going to be using Chase, my bank Chase, as much now since I got the cash card because it, it just works. Like I work with Caviar and they pay me through the cash app and now I got the cash card. So, yeah, <laughs> I kind of like the cash card. I guess I don't need to do this. But anyway, I thought I would make a video and show you guys about the cash card and the cash app. But if you guys want to see more videos talking about the cash card and the cash app or just random videos from your boy Jermaine, hit me up in the comments below. And if you like this video, give your boy Jermaine a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, y'all.